Hello, folks. Welcome back to Horror Channel. And today, I'm bringing you another episode review of the television show called Medium. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the eighth episode of the third season called The Whole Truth. The episode was directed by Leslie Lipman, written by Diane A.D. Muja. And the episode originally aired on NBC on January 17th, 2007. So in this episode, Allison basically has dreams about the mysterious death of a well-known um, con congressman, congressman, a very well-respected one, according to Wikipedia. And basically, this congressman this congressman died in very in a very in very mysterious circumstances to say the least. I'll let you find out for yourselves since I don't spoil in uh in these reviews at the show. But basically he was basically found I, I guess I could tell you a little bit about it. He was basically hanging down from the ceiling. And at some point it is believed that he might have committed suicide. He might have killed himself. He might have committed suicide. But uh, there might be something more to it, right? So this is basically the main plot of the episode. But Allison also happens to have dreams that involve a young boy who is basically... This young boy is... Um, he's uh, at the bottom of a well. And he's basically screaming and uh, crying out for help. Um, he's basically trying to get somebody's attention. And Allison happens to see him. And uh, she knows that wherever this boy is, this young boy is, he's in desperate need of her help, of somebody's help, but of her help in particular, since she's able to see him as uh, he might end up uh, running out of air at some point, and he might end up dying from starvation and thirst. So basically, Allison is basically going to try to pinpoint the exact location of this boy's uh, whereabouts, and basically, she's going to try and, uh, and uh, find him, right? And uh, at some point, she basically has a dream that puts her in the right track, no pun intended, but basically something, there's something involving train tracks, something involving this, and now uh, she might finally be able to save him and rescue him. But I'll let you find out for yourselves how this all turn, how, how it all turns out, right? But yeah, this is basically it for this episode, I believe. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't want to, you know, Repeat myself, repeat myself too much during these reviews. So uh, I'm pretty much uh, convinced that I gave you all the main facts about this episode. And basically there's a connection between uh, this young boy and the congressman and the congressman. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's... Uh, this is basically how this whole episode goes. And uh, in the end, near the end, Allison is going to be able to basically get a good night's sleep after everything has been uh, basically, everything has been solved and everything is doing good. And uh, so this is basically it, right? So... What did I think about this episode? I thought this episode was pretty great, pretty enjoyable, pretty amazing. I really enjoyed how it all turns out, how it is, what happens, the main plot, the characters, the whole boy situation thing, and his survival that might be at risk, and Allison trying and saving him, and... uh that was a pretty nice thing, right? Even though there's a twist at some point that is pretty, that is going to basically uh, reveal what, re what, what really happened, as well as uh, 
near the, the middle of the episode, I believe. There's a twist about this young boy whereabouts, but I let you find out for yourselves. I thought there was, that was pretty, you know, wow. That was pretty, uh, that was quite a, a, a reveal indeed. And then uh, the final twist, the final twist near the end was pretty awesome too. So this episode was pretty great, especially since uh, this uh, this uh, co congressman, the congressman was basically um, a uh, since he died in mysterious circumstances. Uh, that was uh, a very good thing in my opinion uh, because it really keeps us invested in this episode. And uh, somebody who's uh, who's supposed to be well respected might have some skeletons in his closet, especially since uh, yeah, his death is gonna involve something that has to do with porn. I leave you with that. So this was pretty pretty embarrassing for this man's death, and uh, what it might what might have happened afterwards. Since uh, yeah, that's not something that you'd want the whole world to know about, especially. <clears throat> if you're someone who is uh, who is well known and well respected, and uh, you're somebody who's supposed to be upholding the law, that's not really a good thing. So I thought that's what th this was a pretty, you know, um, interesting thing about this episode. There's some music that keeps repeating, and it's and it's and it basically has something to do with uh, this man. And at some point, you know, we get to see what happened from his own, from his own perspective, from his own eyes. And Allison is seeing him going to the bathroom, I believe. He's in the bathtub at some point, and she is in the bathtub too. And she sees what happened. And uh, you have the shower curtains, and basically they get wrapped up. Uh, they basically uh, they they get wrapped up around uh, him. Something that uh, might suggest that something bad happened, right? So this is basically it. Now let's move on to the characters. So basically we have the main, the main ones. Then we have the um, some uh, the characters uh, from this episode in particular. So we have Chris Mes M Messina, who plays Casey Edward Frank. Casey is a very interesting character in this episode. There's something to him, but I let you find out for yourselves. But I thought it was pretty, it was pretty good. And at some point, he's basically threatening the district attorney. He's threatening, he's threatening the district attorney after he's been basically, after he might be, he might have become a suspect. But I let you find out for yourselves what happens. But it, but he basically says, "I I will remember this moment." <clears throat> I will, I will, I will remember this moment. I will remember this moment. That was pretty, that was a pretty nice scene in my opinion. Then we have Paul Perry, who plays the assemblyman, the assemblyman, the assemblyman, the assemblyman, Henry, um, Ry, Ryko, something, Rykoff, Henry Rykoff. Then we have Ruth Williamson, who plays... Mrs. Reich, Mrs. Reichoff, who's basically the wife, right? And uh, they're basically, this is at the, at the beginning of the episode, they're asked about, uh, basically, they're living in, this, in the same house as the, as the congressman, as the congressman, and they're basically being asked about uh, how he, uh, if they know how he might have died. Then we have B.J. Wallace, who plays J J Jameson, Nestler, Jameson Nestler, uh, B.J. Wallace plays Jameson Nest. B.J. Wallace, sorry, plays J Jameson Nestler. Christian Alexander, um, plays Young Casey. Albert Malafront plays lawyer. Dan Snook plays police officer. Ryan Shively. Shively plays Lee Park Ranger. And then we have Sarah Scott as the woman's voice from the internet. Sarah Scott. Then we have Peter Birkenhead, who plays administrator. Uh, so, yeah, basically, we have all these characters. And at some point, uh, 
Mrs. Rykoff, um, the wife of the of the con of the congressman, the assemblyman, I believe, whatever you want to call him, the assemblyman, the assemblyman. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure she was his wife. Um, she's basically trying at some point to, uh, try to, trying to defend, she's trying to defend her husband, despite the evidence that, that might suggest that he might have done something, um, he might have done something bad before his death, before his demise, uh, but yeah, that was pretty good, a pretty nice episode, pretty well put with the whole disappearance thing, and Allison trying to find this boy too, and uh, near the end, um, basically the connection is made and the dots are being connected. It's a pretty scary episode, though. Pretty traumatic, pretty sad, pretty, yeah. It, it, was, uh, it was hard to see some of it. Uh, but if I were to rate this episode on a scale from 1 to 10, I think I would give it 9.5 out of 10. It was a pretty great episode, so I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10 for this episode. 9.5 out of 10. It was a pretty good episode, and I pretty enjoyed it, so pretty nice indeed. What about you folks? What do you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would really love to hear about your thoughts, your thoughts and views on it. And I'll see you on the next, on the next uh, review for another episode. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care of this whole channel for you. Signing off.